So let's talk about some success stories. This particular woman got in touch with me in 2024 and she had been having her symptoms since 2008. So 16 years of symptoms. And I'm gonna to hop to this middle part right here first. At the onset of her symptoms in 2008, she basically had been diagnosed with reflux, with GERD, with, with gastroesophagitis, basically heartburn. And at that point, she was offered the suggestion by her medical doctor to do proton pump inhibitors, acid blocker type treatments, which is the standard treatment for reflux. You want to block the acid for a while and let the tissue heal. But she didn't want to do that treatment, so she started getting into some functional medicine doctors and treatments, and she was tested for SIBO. And she was positive so we'll jump up here she did a breath test and that SIBO breath test was methane positive now remember that when you study the world population and you randomly test people for methane people that don't have any digestive symptoms up to 50 percent of them are actually positive for methane gas so that methane gas maybe it's SIBO maybe it's not um, this person tested positive and because the standard of care is to treat with Zyfaxin, which is an antibiotic, she was given Zyfaxin. And then she had a post-treatment SIBO test. And in this post-treatment SIBO test, now is she not only positive for methane gas, but she was also positive for hydrogen gas. Let's just talk through this. She came in because she didn't want to take acid blockers. She did a SIBO test, which is a reasonable diagnostic treatment. If somebody is having burping and, and heartburn associated with, that would be a reasonable direction to go. But like 50% of the population tested, she was positive for this methane, 50% of the normal population. She was positive for methane. She was given an antibiotic treatment, Zyfaxin, and after the treatment, she wasn't just positive for the original gas, she was positive for a second gas as well. Luckily, what she did at that point was declined any further treatment with Zyfaxin, which was offered to her. So. I don't know about you, but I don't think you have to be a doctor to figure out that you take a test and the results are worse afterwards and you're offered the same treatment again. That doesn't seem like the right way to go. I think for anybody that would not, that would not logically fall into line. So she was offered as an alternative herbal antimicrobial treatments and she was put on a low FODMAP diet. So ever since 2008, when she had that test and treatment with Zyfaxin, she got a bunch of new symptoms. So since 2008, after the Zyfaxin treatment, in addition to the reflux problem, the heartburn problem, she started to develop excessive gassiness, she was burping, she was having flatulence. She was having bloating that was gassy in the mid-abdomen and that happened after all meals. And she was having abdominal pain with that bloating and also a distension of her stomach that made her feel really full. Here's a really good example of someone who probably didn't have SIBO in the first place, but after she had the standard Zyfaxin treatment for it, she definitely had some kind of fermentation problem going on, and it was likely that it was SIBO. So really, antibiotic treatment is not uh, the right directive for her at this point. So now she's at 2000 still. She's had this treatment with Zyfaxin. She's had a second positive SIBO breath test. She's on herbal antimicrobials and a low FODMAP diet. But these are her symptoms that are persistent since 2008. So she found me on the SIBO Doctor podcast and listened to the treatment that I was presenting to treat these fermentation symptoms. 
and she purchased the GI Janelle 1 powder, which is the high dose sulfur treatment, and she had started at 2.5 grams a day, which is a half a teaspoon a day in February of 2024. And soon after that, she was in Washington State, so she decided, hey, you know what, I want to talk to this doctor and find out if I'm doing things right. So she got an appointment with me, and we did a telehealth appointment, and she told me that on the 2.5 grams, the half a teaspoon of GI Janelle 1 powder already, her gas was improving, her postprandial, meaning after she ate, bloating was improving, and her abdominal pain was also improved. And this is the first time in that 16 year window since taking Zyfaxia in 2008 that the needle was moving on her symptoms. So we did a follow-up appointment several months later and she went through the eight week treatment of GI Janelle 1 powder, the sulfur treatment, and her symptoms had completely resolved and she was fine at that point. So a very quick little case study showing you a success story of someone who had found this information and started treating themselves.